Hi, everybody. It's Levon. I'm showing you guys my aquaponics five days after the second harvest, which was three days after the initial harvest. I added a much beefier pump because I'm going to be adding two grow beds additionally. And uh, wanted to, I should have taken these guys off two days ago, but I let it go. Here's five days later. I got some more baseball bats. But they're still delicious. Um, my mom just said to crop them early. Look at that. Look at that monster. Mm. Oh, that's a good catch. Look at that. <laughs> Why are we not feeding the world like this? Uh, okay, I got many more. Let me, uh, when we start cropping slowly but surely, let's get these guys out of here. There's another one on here. I don't know if this one will go another day. Look at on the other side there. Look at that one. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Five days after the second harvest, which was three days after my initial harvest. It's just amazing. Part five, part six, and part seven are within a two-week period. It's just remarkable. And I don't know why we are not educating people to do this at home. Um, there's so much more food grown in one-third the time organically healthy, made by you, uh, you know everything that goes into it, and I, I, I wish I knew about this years ago, people have been doing this in Malaysia and other countries, and I wish I learned about it years ago. I got little uh, floaty guys over there, I got something growing, it's either pepper, spinach, or something else, if you look at one of my floaties. Ready to go, wouldn't you say? I'll get rid of this one too because I'll probably forget in two or three days and it'll be much bigger. Wow, amazing. Just amazing. I technically have another one, but I'm going to give it one more day before I crop it. It's Look at that, guys. In two weeks, I've made enough to feed a couple families, I would think. Every three days, I'm getting that, if not more. I think I got six the first time or seven and six again the next time here's five technically it's six but i'm going to wait another day to pick that one it's just amazing stuff i am uh, as you see right here i've got my new bed ready i got some uh okra some bell peppers some spinach lettuce i'm going to add one more over here and this that's the one i'm going to show you guys how to assemble i actually have it in pieces ready to show you guys so this guy is doing well too. I'm gonna pick this guy tomorrow and put on a hamburger or something. I probably shouldn't have said that to all my vegetarian friends out there. You didn't hear that. And these guys have yet to give me something. Sadly, they're. Uh, this is what I have from this. These guys. And it's pathetic for being soil. I mean, they're still doing well. Um, only keeping these guys in the organic soil and giving them some tap water every night, uh, just to prove a theory that it doesn't do as well as the other plants that are getting constant nutrition. These tomatoes, I'm going to transfer them into this tote. These guys are going to go into here, and the other tote, I have a variety of uh, things I'm going to plant in that one, and then I have four more that I'm going to add. These are going to be going this way. I'm going to have two rows of it. 
and it's, it's all going to drain on the far side back in, back into the pond. And I'm thinking of adding, excuse me, I'm thinking of adding another thousand gallons to that. My name is Levon. Thanks for watching.